Hello, Thomas. Here is your booster, your very rare and unique T5024 booster on the test bench, ready to show us what it can do. So, what we've got here is the electricity, got a little short there. Uh, okay, now we got some electricity. Now what we're going to looking at here, let's see. First of all, take a tour of the booster. Put this on macro. Let's see. Now I guess you can see it. Okay. Uh, this port right here is um, tells us what the booster is doing, and this is something you can use to check your booster um, if you so desire. Just hook up a vacuum gauge and, uh, and uh, with the car running and then push on the brake pedal and uh, this port here will tell your vacuum gauge what's going on as uh, in terms of the booster activation and um, what this gauge this port will read is vacuum until you apply the brakes and then the more you apply the brakes the closer this fact this reading goes to zero and I'll show you that on the machine up here this is vacuum coming from your engine what we've got here is uh, input and we've got output and in terms of the gauges these are two vacuum gauges both of these are going to read the same amount uh, and then when the booster is applied this gauge will stay uh, uh, stationary while this gauge will go to zero the more the booster is applied over here we've got our hydraulic got input and output and these two gauges are tied together so that as this gauge goes up and maxes out the second gauge follows and reads our final input pressure which is simply a function of the uh, master cylinder that is on the boost tester booster tester and that master cylinder is nothing more than a handle right here connected to a little pump in the back output that's what your booster is going to be doing and this, these two gauges are tied together. This gauge goes up and maxes out, and this gauge follows and reads our final pressure. And what we're looking for is probably about a 4 to 1 boost ratio. So as this one goes up to 350, we'll, uh, four times that would be about 1400 PSI. Now what we'll do first is without any vacuum activity, we will operate the booster and see we just want the same pressure in and out which uh, essentially tells us our gauges are reading correctly or as correctly as can be for this age of the machine so we've got 350 here let's go on macro got 350 here well let's say 300 and we got a little bit over 300 here let's try that again Fifty there, a little bit above three hundred there. Next, we will. Then we also, at that time, we would check for leaks. Uh, leak points are right here, and then of course, make sure your bleed screw is not seeping. And uh, we're ready to go. Now we're going to test it with vacuum. Our gauges are in, engaged over here. We're up to over 1200 psi. Now let's do it from this point. So we got our gauges come back to vacuum. Full activation over 1200, 1300 psi. We're at zero. While we're here, we check for leaks. And since we're under so much pressure, this is not if it's going to leak. This is the time it's going to leak.
Now there's a check valve. There's a check valve inside here, and uh, I took it apart and cleaned it. And what it means is that there. I will try to get as much fluid out of here as I can, um, but uh, the um, uh, there should there will be some residual fluid in here. So just uh, be aware of that. Uh, I should not dribble on you too much, but just be aware. Of, and I'm using dot three. That's all you need to use. Nothing fancy in these things. Uh, you don't really need the bleed screw to bleed the brakes. Uh, you can, you don't, um, you can, you can if you want to, but it's not terribly critical. Anyway, it's a really nice, fine booster, and I appreciate you sending it to me. Thank you.